Hello and welcome to my channel. Now I have several professional actuators. Like this one from company Infos. Or like this one which is similar to MIT Mini Chitag actuator. And many of you asked me if I can uh, tear down these actuators and see what is inside. I actually don't really want to do this because I'm afraid to break these actuators. But the thing is that I have two actuators like this one and one of these two actuators does not work properly anymore. Meaning that it does rotate, it kind of does work, but it always loses its home position. So one time I switch it on, it has one home position, another time I switch it on, it has another home position and uh, it looks strange. So I suppose that battery in one of these actuators, actually in this one which I already started to disassemble, is dead. Probably we just need to replace this battery and everything is gonna be okay. As you can see I already disassembled this actuator. I did this offline. After I did this I saw that it should be interesting also for my viewers and uh, I decided to make this video. The disassembly was uh, super easy. There is only two screws, one over here and one behind this yellow paper. So after you unmount these uh, two screws, this part goes off. And uh, you see that it's connected with these two connectors to this part. Basically these two screws was fixing this part over here. And also here in the middle I had this battery, which I suppose uh, is dead. It actually gives uh, 2.8 volts, but it's supposed to be 3 volts battery. So I don't know. I will try to change it and I will try to see if uh, the actuator is gonna work afterwards. This is a standard battery. This is 3 volts uh, battery SR2032. Let's see this board. It looks like this. This is another board. So th there is a thermal paste, the white thermal paste here. Three wires from the motors. You see that there is a magnet on the shaft of the motor and uh, here just in the middle there is a magnetic encoder. And this piece which sticks out this is a temperature sensor which goes inside this hole and like this it sits uh, just between uh, motor coils and so it measures the temperature of these coils, basically the temperature of the motor. I don't know how to disassemble fuzzes, unfortunately I cannot see the gears, yeah but basically this should be here. The only thing which I can say is that uh, the motor is definitely outrunner. So let's try to change the battery and let's see if it's gonna help. So I'm going to put this one back. Everything looks fine. The battery has this tiny connector which goes over there. Let's put this back together. And now let's change this battery. These wires are spot welded to the battery. So this original battery and this is gonna be my new battery. Red wire goes to the plus and black wire goes to the minus. And this is my super ugly solution made with the captain tape. It's ugly but it should work. Let's connect this battery back again. Actually it was easy. So this is the battery in place. And now I can close it with this one. And this one just goes on top. Aha, uh -huh. almost forget. I need to put these two small washers, plastic washers. One goes here and the second one goes here. Done. I hope it's gonna work after this. This is the first test if these actuators are hackable. So let's connect it and let's see if it's still alive. If it works, it would be really a surprise for me because I think it needs kind of some kind of calibration after the change in the battery. And I have no idea how to do this calibration. So I need to import my module. Okay, it doesn't matter. You already saw this in previous video. I'm gonna hold this actuator because I'm just afraid that it's gonna move like crazy. And it says that the ID of the actuator is nine. So the ID of the actuator is stays the same after the change in the battery. Now enable actuator. Now it's light up with the green light, so this is normal. Let's put actuator in the trapezoidal position mode. Okay, it's not exploded. Good. Ta-da-da-da! -da -da -da. 
So I switched on and off this actuator many times. Uh, I tried different moves, different commands and it looks like it does work now. So it looks like uh, when we changed the battery we did fix this problem with the always changing the home position. This is good news. And go back. Cool. You see it's always like this. This is a zero and it stays a zero like this. Nice. Great. Works. I'm really happy. Now let's quickly look what is inside of this actuator. Just to be clear, this actuator is still working and it works uh, quite fine, quite nice, uh, no problem with it. But I'm just curious what is inside. And many of my viewers asked me to do this, so I have to do this. Ta -da -da -da. So this is a driver. So basically this uh, backplate also is a heatsink. So you can see here there is a three wires from the motors and there is also two additional small wires. I suppose this is the wires uh, from the temperature sensor which is uh, inside the motor. This carbon piece apparently it covers the wires and there is the same carbon piece here. Apparently there is a magnetic encoder just in the middle. I don't see any battery on this actuator. By the way, both actuators have encoder only on the motor shaft. Now let's dismount these screws. This piece rotates a little bit, but it does not come off. So I will try to dismount uh, the driver board. And this is how it looks. You see that there is a magnetic encoder. This is a magnet. For half an hour I was trying to disassemble further this uh, actuator and I found out that it's uh, quite complicated because everything is holds on this motor wires. And everything is glued with this uh, carbon fiber piece. And I'm just afraid that if I'm gonna force it, I'm gonna break the wires from the motor. And uh, I'm not really rich, so I don't wanna break this actuator. So I will leave it like this. At least we saw some parts. We saw the motor itself. We saw that there is a temperature sensor which goes to the motor. And we saw that again encoder is only on the motor. There is no encoder on the output shaft. And to put everything back is very easy. It's like this. Done. So today we looked inside these actuators. We did not disassemble them completely. We only disassembled the electronic parts and so electronics and some of the motors and some of the stuff. Yeah. But basically both actuators are well built and this is great. And also with this actuator I repaired by changing the battery, which I really like because I need it. I need it for one of my next projects. And uh, of course I know that many of you now is gonna say ah you did not disassemble both actuators completely we wanna see the gears uh, continue disassembling uh, blah 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 but yeah guys this is expensive actuators and I wanna use them in the future I don't have too much money in order to spend them for the actuators and throw this actuator away I disassemble them as much as I could in a safe manner without breaking any stuff if this video was interesting for someone don't forget to put the like don't forget to comment, subscribe to my channel to see these new videos with these two actuators. At least with this one I have a great video, it's coming. Huge thank you to my patrons, here's their names. Thanks to them I'm doing these projects. Thank you guys for helping non-shitty robot community. See you next time and don't forget to be the part of the robot revolution.